you guys, Beth Brutality here. This is going to be my March favorites. Um, I know I'm recording it kind of late, but it is March 31st right now, so it's technically still March. So, um, I didn't start using a lot of new products this month, um, so kind of had to grab some things that I just haven't talked about or um, I did use this month um, that I did enjoy a lot, um, but maybe I haven't told you guys about them. So, these are all really random. There's not really any set category for these. Um, like, I don't have something from every category if that makes any sense. All right, whatever, moving on. You guys will figure it out. <laughs> if I don't make sense, you'll know sooner or later. Um, the first thing, and I may have talked about this last month, is my Mark Get a Tent Tented Moisturizer. Um, now that it's kind of getting, well, we had a few warm days, and when it's really warm out, um, I prefer to wear just a tinted moisturizer, uh, just because I have very oily skin, and so if I get too hot, my foundation will melt off no matter what. Um, so, Get a Tent is a really good moist or tinted moisturizer. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of it. This is slightly too dark for me. This is the, um, I believe it's called Buff. So this is in Buff Natural. It's slightly too dark for me, so I needed to order one shade lighter. Um, but it's really good. Um, and I can just kind of tone it down with a setting powder. So, love this a lot. The bronzer I've been using a lot is my Physician's Formula Powder Palette Multicolored Light Bronzer. Just looks like that. Um, it is like all of their other packaging. This part flips up. That flips up. There's a brush underneath. I have never used the brush. Um, it's just in here. I could probably use this since I use this for contour. Maybe I have used it because a whole bunch of powder just flew off. All right. Um, in the mirror. This could probably be used because I do just use this for contouring, but I wouldn't use something like this for an all-over wash or you're going to get harsh lines. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of that. I like it a lot. Multi-products. I have here the Mark flip for it in Urban Neutrals. Um, I'm not sure what season this was from, but I got this in like November-ish. Um, and I've showed this before, I think. And this just has these three colors. Um, the bronzer is in Urban Glow. The colors are Skyline and Metro. And then it has lip colors on the other side. I don't use these lip colors a lot um, because I don't use a lot of glosses like this because I don't like to put my finger in them and I don't usually have a brush with me if I take something like this with me because um, I try to not carry much makeup in my purse. But they are very pretty colors. A nice range in there and you can mix those to make several different colors actually. Um, but I like these colors a lot to make like a slightly shimmery but mostly matte um, pinup girl look. This is really perfect for that actually. Um, I used it today for my makeup with one other color here but um, with this. But I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, this is really good for creating just a really soft, slightly shimmery pinup girl look. So, love this a lot. And this blush complements my new favorite blush, but we'll talk about that in another video. Other eye products that I held up here was the Wet n Wild. Um, this is from the Color Icon. This is one of the Color Icon singles, and this is in Brulee. Um, this is apparently a dupe for the matte color of Brulee. Either Brulee or Naked Lunch. I don't remember which one it is a dupe for, but just a basic skin tone. Um, it works really, really well. I am an NC20, and this like matches me perfectly. So liked it a lot. I can even use this to set my concealer if I need to. Um, in love with this palette right now, the I Dream of Greenie from the Wet n Wild um, Spring Colors. These are just beautiful colors. Um, beyond uh, St. Patty's Day just happening, I cannot talk right now, you guys. I apologize for the 8,000 ums that I am throwing in here. But for spring, this is just a fantastic palette. Um, I just love the way greens look in the spring just nice to be out in the sun, have some bright colors on your eyeballs. So I'm a big fan of this palette right now, or this trio, I should say. Moving on to, we'll do one more eye product, two more eye products. Um, the NYC Skyrise Lengthening Mascara, and this is in Extreme Black. Um, I like this a lot. It reminds me of the Lash Stiletto Wand, and I feel like I talked about this at some point and said that. Oh, I said this in my um, Collective Haul video. But yeah, it just has this wand, so it's really easy to lift and separate the lashes. And it does lengthen. Um, I already have really long lashes, so I don't notice a lot of lengthening, but I'm sure if I didn't, I would. It's just really, it's really good for separating your lashes and make them look like you have individual lashes, which essentially is what you need from a lengthening mascara, so you look like you have a lot of lashes. So there's that. And then there's also the Revlon Precision Lash, Lash Adhesive. I don't know why no one thought of this sooner. Was that the right amount of double negatives? I don't know. Um, it comes out 
like a liquid eyeliner and it just has the little brush with the glue and it's brilliant and I don't know why it hasn't been done before but I like this a lot it's so easy to control okay and then as for lip products I have a couple of lipsticks a lip balm a lip gloss and a lip liner all favorites this month um, I've been doing a lot of pink lip color looks and so I've been using my wet n wild mega colors lipstick in giddy a lot and it's just this really pretty light pink color I think I talked about this in my collective haul video actually um, it kind of reminds me of the Gaga color but not exactly but it, it's the perfect pink color for me like I love this color I just think it's perfect um, swatch for that even though I think I did that in the video I'll go ahead and do it again it's just really pretty it's just like a really pretty almost like princess pink I don't even know how to describe it other products other lipsticks here is the Revlon nude attitude uh, I believe I also talked about this one bought it because of Lauren is okay love it a lot you can see it right there um, this is really great for topping with just about any color to be honest what's nice about a neutral nude color um, I've been using a lot of red lip looks as well and so I had to pick up a new red lip liner because my Rimmel and Red Diva ran out and this is just the NYX um, lip liner in hot, rock, hot red sorry this also has a matching jumbo lip pencil um, but it's just a really basic blue it's not quite a neutral or red blue um, it is slightly corally but I still like it a lot. Um, it's a good red color. I just wish it was more of a true red. And then I've been topping all of that in the middle with Chicago by e.l.f. This is one of their minty lip glosses and it is just a gold gloss. Um, and actually Dolce & Gabbana has a very similar product for a lot more money. Um, but yeah, this is really good. You just pop this in the center of your lip. You can do the same thing with the Jumbo Lip Pencil in gold. But uh, it just looks like that right there and it works really well for just popping it right in the middle of your lip with red lips and makes them really pop out. And then I have here my Mad Styles Lip Balm of the Month. Um, I have been going crazy. I've been going bananas for Donkey Kong. I'm not funny. Um, it is a banana foster scent. So when you first smell it, it has that very vanilla custardy foster smell. And then as you use it, it smells more and more banana-y, and I'm absolutely addicted to it, and I love it, and it is fantastic. And uh, if I could marry a lip balm, I would marry Donkey Kong. Uh, one of the other Mad Styles models is obsessed with the dude, which is the Kahlua flavor, um, but I am obsessed with Donkey Kong. If I ever run out, I will cry a lot and start eating a lot of bananas. Okay, now that I've been creepy. Other Mad Styles products, and like I said before, because I'm constantly getting in Mad Styles stuff, that's why every month I'm just going to have Mad Styles favorites that I include. Um, I had to pick four colors this month because I couldn't pick two, and usually I only pick two, but four it is this month. Um, first and foremost is the color Mondo. It is a very just true, I just got lip gloss everywhere, this is a very true purple, and it has orange glitter, and it is gorgeous, it is just like a deep rich purple color. That orange glitter is amazing, and I love it. And then I've been using Blister in the Sun a lot, because now that it's getting sunny, I want yellow colors. Um, this is just a really bright yellow with red glitter in it. It's really, really pretty. Um, it foils amazingly. It'd be, you can kind of see the lid where I foiled it. It kind of changes a little bit. has more of a like orangish sheen. It's just beautiful. It's just seriously beautiful. No other way to describe it. And then this is the color Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, which is amazing, might I add. Um, it is just this really beautiful, soft baby blue. Um, it looks amazing on. I'm absolutely in love with it. It makes my blue eye or my blue eyes, my hazily brown eyes, just pop. Love it. And then the last color is Spirited Away. This color is not only beautiful dry, but when you foil it, it takes on a whole other tone. Um, it looks like this regularly and it's like a blue color with all kinds of reflex like I couldn't even begin to list off I guess it probably has rainbow reflex as well as um, probably some purple and blue reflex more specifically um, it's just gorgeous and when you foil it it almost turns like a deep royal purpley blue color like it's gorgeous um, I love it and I actually think I've used all of these colors in my last two tutorials on your glam squad oh should have talked about cloud nine Where's cloud nine throw that one in here too because I am in love with this color I just tried it the other day and now I can't put it down it's beautiful um, I only have a sample size of this 
but it is this beautiful um, medium gray with rainbow holographic glitter. It, it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, I don't know why I didn't use it sooner. I'm kind of glad I didn't use it sooner because now I have some left to use now. Um, I need to order it though so I won't run out because I'm in love with it. Um, I honestly think that's about all I have. Uh, I thought I had more than that to talk about, but I think that's about it. So that is what I got for my March favorites. Um, hopefully this is helpful to some of you. If you would like a more specific review of any of these items, please let me know. Um, as always, the list is in the down bar of everything I just said. So if I said it too fast or you want to go back and see it without having to watch the whole video, it's down there. I will talk to you guys soon. And I will see you for sure in my April favorites. Bye.